So that leads me into introducing our next creative entrepreneur as part of the tourism industry as well. That is Kara Enright of Enright Cattle Company. So I would like to have you join me in welcoming Kara to the front. My husband and Daryl and I own and operate Enright Cattle Company located just outside of Tweed here on Hunt Road. So about three years ago, we developed a value chain consisting of three businesses. And those businesses are ourselves, my parents, Longevin Farms, owned and operated by Don and Chris Longevin, as well as the local abattoir, Palmateer's Abattoir. And what we decided to do was to brand and direct market our beef. So my husband and I, we raise our cattle up to a weaning weight, the calves, and then they go to my parents' farm where they take them from a weaning weight to a finished weight, and then they go from there to the abattoir in Tweed, which looks after all of the cutting, the packaging, and the dry aging. So from there, we direct market the cattle to mostly restaurants. So a lot of our um, consumer or customers are wholesale customers customers and we have uh, restaurants from Kingston right up to Toronto and we supply th them they're mostly high-end restaurants we supply them on a weekly basis with our fresh meat and we also have our website set up so that consumers can go online and purchase specific cuts so you can order a steak you can order a pound of ground beef whatever it is there's a shopping cart there you can pick and choose and that allows us then to um, deliver to them when we're doing our our wholesale deliveries or they can pick up at the farm from there, in the most recent uh, month or so, we've added a full traceability system. So what we do now, I have this little scanner here, and when an animal comes to our farm, when it's born, it's given an ear tag, and in that ear tag there's a little microchip. So that basically allows us to develop an electronic record for that animal. So when it's born, that date goes in there. When it's uh, weaned, any weaning weights, when it moves to my parents' farm, when it's harvested, all that information is tracked with this machine. Then when it's at the abattoir, that carcass keeps that information, that tag goes with the carcass. So now when a restaurant orders a tenderloin, well the tag that goes on that package has a barcode which has all this information on it. So I scan the barcode and I'm able to say what customer it went to. So now we have a full traceability system. I'm able to actually tell my customer which animal it came from, which basically allows us to do a full recall if that is ever needed. It also allows us to improve our product. So I get feedback from our consumers saying, you know what, that animal or that ribeye was extremely tender or really well marbled. Well, now I can go back and see, well, what cow family did that come from? And um, is that consistent of that cow family? And, and if it is, then maybe that's the um, cow family that we want to continue breeding. So I guess in, in conclusion, this um, value chain has really helped make our business profitable and has really allowed the farm to stay in the family and hopefully the next generation will be able to take it over. Thank you. Thank you, Kara. When you came in the front door, hopefully you didn't think you were coming into Black River Retreat. There was actually a promotional piece out there. There was, there's lots of information about a new bed and breakfast and uh, retreat and resort that's in our area. And Trevor Telford is here this evening and I've invited Trevor to come and talk a bit more about his creative business.